After watching this video, you will be able to install the latest Manzaro 21 Ornara which was released few days before in a system or if you already have an operating system, you can dual boot on in it including Manzaro and if already have a dual boot system, you can add Manzaro in it so that you will have a triple boot system. So in my case, I already have a dual boot including Windows and Ubuntu and I am going to add Manzaro in it so that I will have a triple boot operating system. Hi, this is Linux Temple here. So I'm going to present you a step-by-step -step tutorial for having a triple boot system including Windows, Ubuntu and Manjaro. So let's get into the topic. And first we are going to download the latest Manjaro ISO file. So for this go to the browser and go to manjaro.org manjaro.org so this is the official website of manjaro go to downloads and there you can see different flavors of manjaro so first we have their xfc version and then kd plasma and the other is gnome so we are going to download KDE Plasma for the Plasma experience. You just click on download. Take me to download. And we need to create some free space as well. So go to Dix Management and there you have to create a free instance for Manjaro, Manjaro installation so for this I'll need a minimum of 30 GB space so I'm going to shrink this volume or you can delete some unnecessary partitions as well so here I have around 42 GB of free space for Manjaro so Manjaro ISO is already downloaded next thing I need to download is the Rufus and this will write the Manjaro ISO in the USB device so type Rufus so go to download it's a very very light software it's less than 2 MB here different variants are available just click on the first link so here in the folder I have these two files Manjaro ISO and the Rufus so first run Rufus and here you have to select the USB drive so this is the only USB and you have to select the ISO so I'm going to select the ISO that is the Manjaro which is in my desktop in this folder select Manjaro ISO ok just leave everything as it is and then start so here's a warning message that all the data in the USB drive will be deleted so press ok and this will write the Manjaro ISO in the USB drive so here I'm done with writing the uh, image in my USB drive so let me restart my system and I'll boot the system with the USB drive by pressing F9 key in SP laptop and the key may vary according to different laptop brand and I'm going to boot from external USB drive so here Manjaro is going to load so here's the Manjaro welcome screen so launch installer for the installation process so first select the language and it is American English by default so next and select the location 
okay and selecting the location and select language and here select manual partitioning and since this is the most important part so I'm going to pause the moment here so here you can see the 97 GB partition and this is occupied by Windows so we don't need to do anything here and next 39 GB space was it the journal folder and I keep my journal files there and there we have free space of 32 GB that we have created and this is for Manjaro we are going to install Manjaro in that partition and after that the last two partitions uh, which are uh, occupied by Ubuntu root and home and we don't need to mess with these things so we just going to install Manjaro on the free space so in the available 32.2 GB of free space first we are going to create a boot partition and I'm going to allocate 500 MB for this which is more than enough and you have to select what your file system at 32 and mount point must be boot EFI and you have to set the flag to boot and this is mandatory and then click on OK and from the remaining space which is 31.7 GB I'm going to create root folder just press on ok and also you can create home and swap partition but that's not necessary so this two is enough for us and then you can give a computer name and you can set the password so I did this and then next install so here we have a warning message install now so this is going to take around 10 to 15 minutes so all done so we can restart now restart done now it's going to restart so here you can see the drop bootloader manjaro ubuntu windows so i'm going to boot manjaro first to check whether it's working or not so here we have manjaro password this is the default Manjaro desktop also let's try booting other distributions so let me restart this a window let's try to boot windows so here's my window desktop this means windows is also working so lastly let me try loading Ubuntu so again I'm going to restart Ubuntu 21.04 enter so here's our Ubuntu screen and this is the Ubuntu desktop so let's confirm that we can use all three operating systems so guys in this way we can have a triple boot system including windows ubuntu and manjaro and if you still have some confusion please comment down below i'll try to make it clear and i hope you like this video please like this video and subscribe our channel i hope for your support thanks for watching